Okay folks, I got myself a fishing kayak. I told myself I wasn't going to shoot videos, I wasn't going to pose as uh, some of the quote unquote professional YouTube fishermen, but uh, obviously, obviously I'm making a video. So um, the reason I'm making the video is when I was looking at kayaks, I used YouTube as, as, a, as a huge resource to get everyone's input on kayaks, to get reviews on different models. Um, as you can see here, I have a Pelican Strike 100X. It is a pretty inexpensive uh, fishing kayak. I think they retail in the $500 range, but I was able to find a place in Northern Michigan that has crazy prices on kayaks, and I'll even give them a free plug. And uh, as you can see, they're Northwoods Wholesale Outlets. They're in Pinkening, Michigan, Pinconning, uh, however you want to pronounce it. Um, but this was around $300 there and doing a lot of online research they by far had the best prices on kayaks so we made a stop during a trip to or from our um, family cabin and pick this up so I'll give you a quick run through it's pretty basic um, again it's a pelican which is cool, I know the brand, unlike the uh, Sun Dolphin, which I'm not saying anything against Sun Dolphin, but you know, I've read quite a few nightmare reviews on them and uh, haven't experienced them. So that's what kept me away from those. It's a sit on top kayak. It's got a pretty uh, basic chintzy almost seat not very um, not much at all actually and it's got an adjustable backrest just like most do you have a, a dry hatch back here you can part your dry compartment you're able to pull out and access the inside of your boat as you can see uh, tons of styrofoam inside the help of buoyancy and whatnot not bad um, as far as how waterproof it is I don't know I haven't taken it out yet I'm just showing you guys the out of the box product so to speak uh, back here you have a nice little storage bay with crisscross bungees a nice handle drain plug back here I noticed that it has a spot like almost uh, indentations for screws I'm assuming that I'm assuming that's for a rudder um, has two rod holders flush mount in the back uh, there's tons of eyes all over it which is nice you can do all sorts of uh, things without having to add the eyes yourself um, on the side here it has a system to hold your paddle when you're not paddling however if you notice Oh, wait a minute. I, I can't use this system. There's a missing hook right here. You can see the pre-drilled hole and the space where it belongs, um, but it is not there. And considering uh, that I live closer to Detroit than Pinconning, um, I wasn't ready to drive out and say, hey, where's my little hook? I contacted Pelican Direct and they're sending me a new one in the mail. So I'll add that when I get it. You got adjustable footrests here. It's pretty standard. Um, you've got another Scotty type rod holder here. Uh, another hatch in the front. Pretty basic, pretty cavernous. Um, this one goes through much of the boat. I'm gonna see. Sorry there guys, I kind of hit stop on that video. 
I'll be editing them together, obviously. Anyways, um, what I was saying was, I'm gonna see if I can't fit rods in here. Hopefully I can, and that's prim primarily what I'll use it for. If not, um, it's storage. Box in the place. Pelican logo, um, some extra mounting whatever. I'll have to cut that off. Another handle here. We've got handles on the sides. Um, overall, I like the looks of the kayak. I definitely like the price of the kayak. And considering I haven't done kayak fishing before, I didn't want to go run out and get a high-end model just yet. So, that's it. It's a... Pelican Strike 100X Angler. I'm sure I'll do some modifications to this. I'll post another video after that. And I'll take it on the water and test it out. I'm hoping uh, this meets my needs. Uh, I'm a bigger guy. I wasn't really expecting to get a 10 foot. I, was, I thought I would be getting a 12 foot at least. But the, uh, the weight capacity on here is pretty high. It's 325 I believe. And it gives me some room to spare so I don't know stay tuned I guess I'm starting a friggin fishing channel here on YouTube so I'll be posting more videos